All right, so today we are on our way to the Pablo Picasso Museum. Obviously one of the uh, most famous artists on the planet. So let's check out what his hometown has for us. So it's down this quaint alleyway is where you find the entrance for the museum. So obviously all of the art that's here is not from solely Pablo Picasso. This one is just from Joanne Nito. So this is a very famous painting. Now one of the things that you may or may not know is that Pablo Picasso was actually, didn't die until 1972, which means he was alive at the same time as Winston Churchill and as well as Eminem. Yes, Eminem the rapper. Sorry, he died in 1973, but yes, he was alive during Winston Churchill and Snoop Dogg, and he actually lived through um, Jimi Hendrix's life. So when he, when Jimi Hendrix was born, he was from, I believe in his 50s, and he died about four years, three or four years after Jimi Hendrix died. This is some of his earlier work. Eighteen ninety six. Eighteen ninety six. This is Science and Charity, eighteen ninety six, one of his more popular works. I personally thought it was a smaller painting. I've seen it in uh, magazines and online. The, for reference, obviously, you can see that it's quite big. Rooftops and Church of Santa Marta, 1900. So this one is called Lola, which is Pablo Picasso's sister. He had two. The other sister was called Conchita. Conchita. So another fun fact is Pablo Picasso named his daughter Conchita after his sister uh, when she died at the age of seven. seven. Wow, that's actually his sketchbook. That's so cool. Picasso started getting into ceramics in the year 1946. And he had a little dachshund. This is some of his later works. This was from 1957. He's definitely using a lot more paint. You can see it. 
on top. Okay, come on now, even I could make that. Who wants a Carlos plate with a smiley face? I can do that one. Looks like a fish he just put on there. Yeah. All right, so his talent was more painting because these ceramics, come on. This is what you give to your mom and that she's like, oh yeah, it's beautiful. See now that looks like a lot, a lot of pottery. And now each one of those is probably worth about two, three hundred thousand dollars, maybe, maybe a little less with so many. He was like his own assembly line. Barcelona rooftops, circa 1902. painting of Pablo Picasso, but you have the frame as well, done by Pablo Picasso. Can you see it? This is Woman in Armchair, 1917. I can tell this one a little bit better. It's a seated man. So this just shows how Paolo Picasso was around in 1957 drawing on pictures, magazine pictures. To be cheeky. And he saw the moon landing. So apparently 1957 is when he took breaks and did fun stuff like the magazine and birds, apparently. So this is from his break period. So I guess that was a face because he used it more than once. So this painting is the one that everybody was standing in front of taking pictures. And that was the Picasso Museum. Beautiful exit. So we were in there for roughly about 45 minutes. Now, it's a slower day, but it was very, very hot in there, so kinda wanted to rush. I can't imagine. I can't imagine what this place would be on like an August weekend. All right, so that's us finishing up the Picasso Museum. Now we're gonna grab some food. So we were gonna go to my bar because it has two pints for 5.95 euros and a smash burger for five bucks, but they don't serve, sell, uh, serve food until 6 p.m. So we went across the street for burgers and more. They also have uh, two beers for 5.50 and their burgers do look good. And when you're ordering from here, definitely get the club. That looks delicious. I ordered the triple and that looks like it's plastic. 
So that restaurant was actually pretty good. Even though mine didn't look so good, it was actually quite delicious. And it doesn't look like they have a lot of seating, but they actually do have it downstairs where you probably fit about 20, 30 people more uh, and clean bathrooms. So I would recommend it. So we're now in a little park walkway. Look at this. Beats Elmo in Times Square. So we wanted to see some celebrities while we were in Spain. So why not? Let's go to the Wax Museum. some pictures. Oh, Indiana Jones. Oh no! The monkey's got her! The gorilla's got her! You let go! You let go! See, somehow I think they're gonna play a prank on the tourist, and one of these guys is gonna be real. This guy looks a little too real. Boo. William Shakespeare, Marie Curie, and Albert Einstein. But the best one, Stephen Hawking. Hey, Frida, look over here. Ernest Hemingway, what's your latest literature? C and J Travel 716. Like and subscribe. They even got the best chef here. Does this actually look like Leo? This kind of looks like Brad Pitt though. Jennifer Lawrence, possibly. 
This kind of looks like Audrey Hepburn, though. Oh, look, it's Taylor Swift. Was not expecting Billie Eilish. Hey, look, a two-term president. Goal! Interactive. Oh, this is just my nightmare. Which one's real? I think he's real. Has anybody seen the Supernatural episode where he comes to life? He looks very real. Jules Verne. Fun fact. So, fun fact, Greta Thunberg is actually the same age as Billie Eilish. She looks like she's 12. Okay, as soon as you walk into this, it actually moves. <laughs> wow, this is like really nice wax museum. Oh, look who I found. They always have a Johnny Depp. It's pretty cool, actually. I mean, it kind of looks like him. No, this one actually looks good. Jack Sparrow. What the? Wow. Yeah, this is definitely more than a wax museum. So keeping with the space theme. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I definitely gotta go sit with Chewy. And we're back to the entrance. That was actually way nicer than I thought it was. I actually would recommend this. And for the last thing that we're doing tonight, we're going to this very popular market. So what's the first thing that we do when we sit down? We order two beers. Wow, the bulls. The bullfighter. Bullfighting is illegal in Spain. 
Squid, calamari. Good thing there, you guys don't have smell o vision. These are a very popular dish. Five euros. All right, so we're trying the local delicacy. <laughs> Is it like pepperoni? Kind of. Nice. Oh. Not Taste fried. And they sell sangria and pina coladas for five euros as well. It's 7.35, they close at 8.30 and a couple of stores are already starting to shut down. He's dabbing. <laughs> oh, that looks good. And it looks like they actually sell fresh eggs as well. Like fresh eggs. Yep, so I got the chicken stick. Bam! We got our own. All right, so that was the Mercado de la Boqueria. Very popular spot. Uh, a few places started to close down an hour before, so if you do want to come here during the days, uh, probably the best, you'll find a ton of stuff to eat, drink, and be merry. Well, so that does it for today. Tomorrow we have a packed day. We're going to Marquiel, Casa uh, Mila, and Casa Batlo. Yes, a whole lot of walking tomorrow. Can't wait. But don't worry, we do this for you. So don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow.